do you have this training today and how's it going this week? Yeah, good training today. Uh, the guys uh, look good. We uh, got what we needed. We'll work on the things that we starting to work this week for this uh, coming game. And uh, there's a good atmosphere, but also there's a good understanding that uh, we, uh, every practice we need to be as, uh, our best uh, and bring the right intensity to get what we need. So overall, uh, it's been a good week. Today, a lot of us had a chance to meet Juan Mascara for the first time. Uh, what have you seen from him as, as a player and as a person so far? Yeah, first, as a person, uh, a tremendous uh, human being, uh, a great uh, matchup for local room. Uh, as a player, he's still uh, learning some of the things uh, that we're looking for, and, and his attributes uh, already. You know, you can see his speed, you can see his calmness on the ball, you can see uh, that uh, he can get up and down, and uh, you know, very easily. Uh, so, and, and he's uh, for a young player, it looks very calm on the ball. So. Uh, He's, he's one that uh, play a lot of matches already uh, as a pro, so even though he's young, uh, you can see the maturity level in him, and I think he's going to be able to you know, catch up uh, pretty soon. Do you see him uh, contributing immediately or in the next four games? Uh, possibly, possibly. I think uh, the more uh, you know uh, that he learns and adapt uh, to the things that he sees uh, with us, I think the easier will be to, to give him the possibilities. And also, you know, it depends how the games go as well uh, that we can put him in and, and uh, he can start getting a little bit used to it. So uh, I do think that uh, for what I have seen, uh, he's going to contribute you know, from, from these games that we have. Um, a lot of his countrymen are on this team too. How much does that help when you bring in a new player like that when they have that so, somewhat built into the team? Yeah, I think I think uh, it helps. You know, of course, you know, there's uh, you know a few Colombians that uh, you can relate to. There's uh, all the you know all the players that can speak Spanish as well. Uh, but I think overall, it's more about the uh, locker room, uh, how the guys behave as a group. That is uh, what makes it easier for him to be able to, to adapt. Uh, the, the, our locker was very welcoming, and uh, we have great, you know, great people in, in our team. We've seen that Ron contribute a lot the last two years. Talk about his role in this new formation and how he's really helped you out of when starting up top like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, we know Sprilla. Sprilla is a player that uh, physically is very, very strong. He has a lot of you know great attributes, uh, and the good thing with Asprey is that he can play different positions. We've seen uh, him play as a winger, as a striker. He's played in the middle. Uh, in these games, he's been finishing as a wing back. So I think uh, when you have a player that is uh, able to play in different positions, uh, it, it makes it uh, more valuable, and, and uh, you know it, uh, it's, it's a good thing. So. Uh, the other part is the energy that he brings, you know, mm -hmm. I think that's very important, it's something that I think we need it uh, and uh, he's been able to give us that as well uh, offensively with all the players. I just think that these past three games have been very strong uh, in our performance the way we looked. Mm -hmm. How do you see the next four games going for you guys? So we first have to take one game at a time. I think uh, that's the most important thing to have stress out, the fact that uh, we need to put all of our effort in, into the next game, and now it's been a sort of huge game uh, because it's six points uh, for us, uh, massive, and it will put us in a very good situation in, in the fight to get into the playoff. And then we can think about the other three, which are another, you know, very difficult matches against good teams, and then we'll put the plan in place after we play this How hard do you watch the games? For example, when Chicharito did that PK, were you watching him? How much of that is playing in your mind? No, no. I mean, I watch every game. Yeah. I watch every game in MLS, in Italy, in, uh, in uh, England, in uh, South America. I'm always watching games. Uh, and uh, if I think it's important to, to watch games because you get to see the teams, you get to get a, a little bit of a better understanding. And, uh, and then you see games like that game that, uh, you know, we, of course we're happy that uh, that uh, ca the Galaxy tie, you know, is, is a good thing for us. I mean, we're hoping that they lost because, yeah, uh, of yeah. course, uh, that's when you are, you know, we watch the games. Uh, but th there's nothing that you watch there that is more important than us doing our job in getting you know, uh, uh, the job done in, mm. in, in playing our games, getting three points, winning games, and then everything is uh, is there, is there, uh, you know, to watch and to see. Yo otro otro de seis, obviamente me imagino que se ve así, eh, es casi entregarles a ellos la presión. Se mira, ya ahora sí que se mira la tabla. Sí, por supuesto que es un partido sumamente importante donde nosotros entendemos que 
eh, ganarle a Minnesota, eh, como bien dices tú, eh, son seis puntos, porque podemos pasarlos a ellos a pesar de que tienen un partido más que menos, o sea, más por jugar que nosotros. Uh -huh. Es importante eh, conseguir los tres puntos, quitarse menos a ellos también, y para que nosotros sigamos acumulando para los playoffs. Y yo creo que también estos, ese, estos equipos ganarle eh, en este momento seguramente eh, crea una situación importante y pone más presión al, al contrario. De salud ya también se van recuperando soldados, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, ya vemos a Rasmus en esta mejor, ya vemos a Gutiérrez que está teniendo más minutos, ya vemos a jugadores que se sienten más cómodos eh, paredes, que jugó minutos el pasado partido. Entonces creo que estamos en una situación donde estamos mucho más saludables y eh, Dios mediante clasificarnos o nos pone en una buena situación. Desde documentos hasta su estado físico, Juan David está para estar convocado por lo menos. Sí, sí, yo creo que va a estar convocado este fin de semana. Este, y para mí va progresando muy bien y lo, lo vemos este, adaptándose rápidamente. Gracias, Jim. Thank you, Thank you, guys. Thank you.